In this video, I'll show you how an f double prime of x graph tells us information about f of x. And the f double prime graph tells us three things. Where f of x has a point of inflection, where f of x is concave up, and where f of x is concave down. First, I know that f of x has a point of inflection where f double prime of x either equals zero or is undefined, and where f double prime changes signs. F double prime has to change signs in order for f of x to have a point of inflection at that x value. Then we can know that f of x is concave up or concave down, depending on whether your f double prime graph is positive or negative. Let's take a look at an example. In this graph, I know that f of x has a point of inflection at x equals negative 8, negative 3, positive 3, and 8. And that's because you can see at each of those four x values, the f double prime of x graph, which is what this graph is, is equal to zero and it crosses over the x-axis, which means the f double prime of x graph changes signs. Next, I know that f of x is concave up from negative nine to negative eight, negative three to positive three, and eight to nine, because you can see that's where the f double prime of x graph is positive or above the x-axis. And then lastly, I know that f of x is concave down from negative eight to negative three, and also from three to eight, because you can see that's where the f double prime of x graph is negative. I hope you found this video useful in telling you information about f of x from an f double prime of x graph. If you did, please make sure to click subscribe right now so that you're notified when new videos come out each week to help you in your calculus class.